In a universe where reality is more than meets the eye, a profound question echoes through the cosmos. What if our perception is merely a glimpse into a much grander, more intricate existence? This is not just a journey, but an odyssey into the unknown, where the very fabric of reality is questioned. From the depths of ancient philosophy to the cutting edge of modern science, this tale has been woven by the greatest minds of our time. Our narrative unfolds at the enigmatic crossroads of quantum physics and the human mind, a frontier where reality bends and the impossible becomes possible. Guided by the groundbreaking insights of Dr. Amit Goswami, a visionary in the realm of quantum physics, we venture beyond the veil of the ordinary. Our path is illuminated by the profound knowledge enshrined in the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, and further enriched by the daring explorations found in the pages of New Scientist and Psychology today. Each step on this journey brings us closer to unraveling the enigma that binds our consciousness to the quantum tapestry of the universe. This is more than a quest for knowledge, it's an expedition to the very edges of human understanding. Prepare to embark on an unparalleled adventure into the depths of the quantum and the conscious. Join us as we transcend the boundaries of reality and delve into the heart of the quantum mystery. This is not just a story, it's an exploration of the greatest frontier known to humankind, the mind itself. Quantum physics, a theory that has baffled and fascinated scientists for over a century. It's a realm where particles can exist in multiple states at once, where they can be both here and there, a phenomenon known as superposition. Picture a coin spinning in mid-air, simultaneously existing as both heads and tails until it lands. This scenario captures the essence of quantum superposition. Then there's entanglement, a phenomenon at the heart of quantum mechanics that challenges the very core of our understanding of the universe. This peculiar connection between particles was so bewildering that Einstein famously referred to it as spooky action at a distance. Imagine two particles created together or interacting in such a way that they become deeply linked. They are entangled. Now, once entangled, the state of one particle immediately influences the state of the other, regardless of the distance separating them. This could be across a room or across galaxies. The profound aspect of entanglement is that this connection happens instantaneously. It's as if the information between these particles travels faster than light, something that, according to relativity, should be impossible. Yet, in the quantum realm this rule does not seem to apply. The entangled particles behave as a unified system. This invisible, instantaneous link defies our usual understanding of space and time. It suggests that, at a fundamental level, the universe may be interconnected in ways we are just beginning to comprehend. This interconnectedness could have vast implications, from the foundations of quantum computing, which relies on entanglement to perform tasks far beyond the capability of classical computers, to possibly unraveling new understandings of information transfer and connectivity in the universe. Another mysterious phenomenon in quantum physics is the observer effect a fundamental and intriguing aspect of quantum theory that upends our traditional view of observation and measurement. At the heart of this principle is the startling idea that the very act of observing or measuring a quantum system, such as an electron or a photon, can alter its state. This concept goes far beyond the simple interference of an observer with a system, which is common in classical physics. In the quantum realm, observation itself becomes an integral part of the system's behavior. In traditional physics we assume that we can measure properties like position, momentum, or spin of a particle without affecting the particle itself. However, in the quantum world, this assumption no longer holds true. When we attempt to observe a quantum particle, the tools and methods we use to make the observation can cause the particle to switch from a state of multiple possibilities, known as superposition, to a single definite state. This shift implies that the mere act of looking or measuring can change what you're looking at. It challenges the notion of objective reality as we know it, suggesting that at a fundamental level, our observations are not merely passive recordings of the universe, but active participants in shaping it. The observer effect has profound implications for understanding the nature of reality, and has been a topic of philosophical debates about the role of consciousness in the universe. These ideas were revolutionary when they first emerged in the early 20th century. 
upending classical Newtonian physics. Scientists like Max Planck, Albert Einstein, and Niels Bohr were among the architects of this new quantum reality, a reality that despite being counterintuitive, has been confirmed by countless experiments. So, how do these mind-bending phenomena link to the enigma of human consciousness? That's where the plot thickens, and where we delve into territories where few have dared to tread. These quantum phenomena, as mind-bending as they are, serve as the bedrock for our exploration into consciousness. Now let's venture into the intersection of quantum physics and consciousness. Where the mysterious and the measurable collide, a fascinating dialogue unfolds. In the early days of quantum physics, pioneers like Erwin Schrödinger began contemplating the role of quantum phenomena in biology. Could the strange rules that govern subatomic particles also play a part in the intricate dance of life itself? While initially a fringe idea, this concept of quantum biology has slowly gained traction, opening a door to a whole new understanding of consciousness. Dr. Amit Goswami, a renowned quantum physicist and author, takes this exploration a step further. Goswami argues that consciousness itself might operate on quantum principles. He introduces concepts like downward causation, where consciousness acts as the primary reality, creating the material world. He also delves into quantum non-locality, a principle suggesting that all things are interconnected, hinting at a profound unity underlying existence. Venturing deeper into the quantum brain, we encounter the theories of Stuart Hameroff and Roger Penrose. This duo proposes that consciousness arises from quantum phenomena occurring within the brain's microtubules, intricate structures that form part of the cell's skeleton. They suggest that these microtubules could harbor quantum vibrations, and it's these vibrations that give rise to consciousness. Though initially met with skepticism, recent experiments have begun to lend support to this radical idea. Evidence suggests that fragile quantum states can indeed exist within the brain, and intriguingly, that anesthetics can affect them. This raises the tantalizing possibility that consciousness itself may be a quantum process, a whispering echo of the strange and counterintuitive world of the very small. These theories and experiments are pushing the boundaries of our understanding of consciousness. They invite us to reconsider the nature of the mind, and to contemplate the profound interplay between the physical and the mental, the measurable and the mysterious. As you can imagine, linking consciousness with quantum physics has its share of controversies and criticisms. Many scientists and philosophers have expressed skepticism. Critics argue that the brain is too warm and wet to support fragile quantum states, and that quantum explanations are unnecessary when classical physics can explain our cognitive processes. However, recent experiments and findings have started to challenge these criticisms. Groundbreaking research from anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff and physicist Roger Penrose suggests that consciousness arises from quantum phenomena within the brain's microtubules. They argue that anesthetics can disrupt these quantum states, leading to loss of consciousness. While this theory remains controversial, it is reshaping our understanding of consciousness and quantum physics. The Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy further explores the philosophical implications of this quantum consciousness link. It presents three main approaches. 1. Consciousness as a result of quantum processes in the brain. 2. Quantum concepts used to understand consciousness without reference to the brain. And 3. Matter and consciousness as dual aspects of one underlying reality. This dual aspect thinking taps into the philosophical motivation for linking quantum theory to consciousness and the potential for quantum randomness to provide new possibilities for free will. But these theories are not without their own challenges. There is the difficulty of incorporating subjective experience into physicalist accounts and the causal gap in the physical domain. Additionally, there is the challenge of including notions of temporal present in a physical description. Yet despite the controversies, the quest to understand our consciousness through quantum physics continues. So, what does all this mean for our understanding of consciousness? Well, if quantum physics does indeed have a role to play in consciousness, this could radically transform our understanding of the mind. The quantum brain theory suggests that consciousness isn't simply a product of complex computation among brain neurons. Instead, it might arise from quantum vibrations within these cells, a concept that intertwines the physical with the metaphysical, the tangible with the intangible. This could mean that our consciousness doesn't necessarily end with physical death. If consciousness is a form of quantum information, it could continue to exist in the universe even after the body has ceased to function. 
This notion aligns with some spiritual and philosophical ideas about life, death, and the soul, offering a potential bridge between science and spirituality. Moreover, these theories could have far-reaching implications in fields like psychology and neurology. If the mind is indeed a quantum system, this could explain certain phenomena that have so far eluded traditional science. For instance, the experience of being of two minds, or the strange sense of deja vu, might be manifestations of quantum superposition or entanglement happening within our brains. Quantum consciousness could also shed light on certain mental health conditions. For example, some researchers believe that certain symptoms of schizophrenia, such as hearing voices, could be explained by a malfunction in the quantum processes within the brain. In the field of artificial intelligence, understanding the quantum nature of consciousness could help us build machines that don't just mimic human intelligence but also possess a form of consciousness. This would revolutionize technology and society in ways we can barely imagine. The implications of these theories could alter our perception of reality and our place within it. As we conclude this exploration, we invite you to ponder on these ideas. The interplay of quantum physics and consciousness is a mesmerizing dance of science and philosophy, a testament to the complexity and wonder of the human mind. In our journey, we've traversed the landscapes of quantum theory, delved into the essence of consciousness, and questioned the very fabric of reality. This subject is a vast ocean, and we've merely dipped our toes in its waters. The theories we've discussed today, from the quantum brain to the mind-matter relationship, are just the tip of the iceberg. They serve as a challenge, a call to action for each of us to dive deeper and explore these uncharted territories. Yet, we must remember that this journey doesn't end here. In fact, it has only just begun. There's a whole universe out there waiting to be understood and experienced. So, let's continue to question, to learn, to grow. Share your thoughts, your questions, your reflections in the comments below. Let's start a conversation, a dialogue that transcends boundaries and expands horizons. Remember, the reality we perceive is just a fragment of the universe's true nature. So, subscribe and like this video for more insightful content on quantum physics and consciousness. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring.